So now we're going to learn how we can add a character to the game and program that character to move around our world. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come off the ground brush tool and I'm going to select the object tool, which is where I can add a character. So if I right click now on the terrain and go add object, you see now that I get a whole host of characters and other kind of objects that we can use in our game and program to interact with each other. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a rover. Okay, and there he appears on the game where I click. Okay, now if I press escape to go into game mode, if I use my keyboard, this rover hasn't been programmed, therefore it's just going to sit there and do nothing. It doesn't matter what I press, nothing's going to happen. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to right click on the rover and I'm going to go program. Please make sure that you are selected um, on the object tool. If you're on any other kind of tool, you won't be able to select your rover. So you have to go to object tool first. So if I right click there and click program, when, keyboard, and I'm going to go with the arrow keys, I'll press, do, move, and I want to go quickly. Okay. So now when I start my game by pressing escape, I can move around with my rover. Now currently the rover's settings are so that it goes quite slowly, all right, which gives me quite a lot of control but doesn't make the game particularly fun and energetic. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to the settings. Now you can see there are so many settings that you can control. Okay, I would suggest that you go through these settings and have a look. Oops have a look at the kind of things that you could be doing with your controls, okay? But all I'm going to do is go with these first four, which is the speed of the rover. So I'm going to go to the top one and just turn it all right up, okay? So we've got turning speed, acceleration, turning acceleration, and now when I start my game, my rover's going to go nice and fast, okay? So that's how we can code some basic movement into our rover. Just very quickly, I'm going to show you some other controls that we can use and we can program. If I right click, program, I want to make my robot jump. So I'm going to say when, keyboard, I'm going to say when, keyboard, and we're going to look at uh, misc, and there we have the space bar, which is what I was looking for. So when the space bar is pressed, I want to go into, I think, actions, and I want my robot to, where did we find jump? There it is there. Okay, so sometimes you do have to look through a little bit to find some of these settings, but I've found it there. So when I press space key, my robot's going to jump. And I'm going to say high. Okay, I've got a feeling this is going to be really high, but we'll see how it goes. So now, whilst I'm moving along, I can press space bar. Oh no, it's not too high at all. And my robot can jump. So if you've got any obstacles on there that you add to your world, you can make your robot jump off of them. Okay? So that's how we add a character to move around on the screen.